Hey guys, good to have you all back. It is Sunday. Happy Sunday, guys. Um, I'm going to do Rolodex ABC today. Yes! Oh, last time we left off with the letter M. And I made Moth. Yes. And uh, Margaret. Or Monotone. Or Monochrome. There was a little bit of a confusion. But apparently, you can use both words for this. Yes. So very sort of muted colors. Uh, today I am going to do N. Um, I was looking for a flower with N. Yes, all sort of Latin sort of names. Or an animal with N. Also, not that common. No. So uh, I had to go in a different direction. I have uh, two cards on my desk. One is going to be with numbers of course yes numbers i love numbers you know this so one is going to be numbers and the other one is going to be norway yes but i'm going to start with numbers um let me tell you what i'm using for this project and what the idea is for the project with numbers you guessed it i'm going to be stamping i took out all my stamp set that have lovely numbers on on them and uh, yeah most of them are going to be the tim holtzy ones so I'm going to make sort of a collage with numbers, yes, um, in muted colors, in a little bit of muted colors. I want to do something with aged mahogany, uh, pine cone, I have rusty hinge, yes, and I want to try this one. This is sepia. I think there's a little bit of juice left in this one. And for the background, I'm going to do antique linen. So sort of more, well, almost fall colors. But, you know, a little bit muted. Now, for Norway, uh, I don't know if you know the, the flag of Norway. I want to sort of recreate the flag of Norway on here. Yes. What am I using? Poster stamps. Now, I was looking everywhere <laughs> for poster stamps from Norway. And this is one of the books that I picked up recently. I bought a box, uh, a box full of um, poster stamps, album books, and um, lots of envelopes and such. So... Yes, and this one had Sweden, lots of Sweden, so I was sort of happy. Sweden, yes, and what then? Denmark, oh yes, please, please have Norway. And then, yes, Norway, pages full of Norway. So I'm going to recreate, sort of try to recreate the, the Norwegian flag with um, poses stamp from Norway. Yes, so I'm going to use ink, glue. That's it. That's probably it. Yes. Uh, and of course, there needs to be the, the letter N on here. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's get started. I'm starting with numbers. Now, um, this is a, a white card. I don't want it to be white. I want it to be a slightly different color. So I'm just taking out antique linen and just lightly going to sort of age it up a little bit. Yeah. And I think this color goes really well with all the browns and, and such that I'm using for the stamping. There you go. And I'm probably going to ink around um, the whole project when I am done. When I'm done. Okay. Aged it up. Did we? Yes. I'm going to start with the letter N. Straight away. And there you go. It's going to be in this right hand corner over here. And I'm also going to have a small O here. So it also says number. That's the idea. That's the idea. For this, I'm going to use the darkest color, which I think in this case it's pine cone. Yes. Lovely. Mm. Mm. Number. There you go. So yeah, lots of stamping uh, for this project. Do we have an O? <laughs> of course you do. You have an O somewhere. Probably. Probably. Well, there's going to be an O here. But for now, I'm just going to take out all the number stamps that I can find. And do some stamping. Some sort of random stamping, guys. Yeah. So they're going to be crisscross and such. Oh yes, that's a lovely color. Now for aged mahogany. I might take out another color, guys. I just oh these yeah, well hello hello numbers. Yes. Lots of them. Mm. 
Yes. Four and a half. Oh, a big three. Shall we do a big three here? Underneath here. Yes. Also in the edge mahogany. I need a new one. This is an old one. But I think I'm going to... Uh, yes, you can you can buy the reinker, but see, there's not enough juice left here. Um, I want I want oxides. I don't know. I just prefer oxides to inks. Three. Yes. What else do we have? I'm not gonna do the big five because then we're done. <laughs> such a big a big stamp so i do not want to use the very large stamp this is the largest one that i'm using let's do 1913 here um i also have the ticket booth yes I'm, i just want to use this part somewhere somewhere let's see can we sort of Now, I know there are tricks with, you know, post-its that you can put on it and such. Uh, I'm not going to be bothered with postage. That takes too long. Oh, yes. Love that. Love it. Um, four and a half. Let's do a big four and a half. Oh, that's first of all, love. Don't press too hard. Otherwise, see? <laughs> It'll take you forever to dry. Four and a half. Well, I, I must say this paper uh, dries really well. It does dry really well. And also have a six and a half. Oh, six and a quarter even. Ooh, six and a quarter. There you go. Six and a quarter. Up top. More numbers. Yes. Still need a zero there, smaller zero. Oh, I also have the sepia color. Take out the sepia color, love. Uh, mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? Put it here. More numbers. There are so many numbers on um, on this stem set. I'm not gonna do a number. With a word. Well, I'm trying not to do a number with a word. Except for this one. Because I love these. Uh, I could try not to stamp on this. I could try it. Where's the sepia one? Let's see how this goes. Oh, I think it goes well. Well, it does say fair. Oh, but I do love this color. Loving the color. What else? This is from Correspondence. <laughs> Here. I'm going to do another one of these. And there. Uh, another number? Yes. Number? Zero, four, something, something. I, I, I think I'm going to have the NO for number on here. Because why not? Because why not? Because that actually says number. So. Yes. More numbers, please. Are there any more numbers on here? We had these. It also says number. In another color. Oh, stamped it too hard. Especially with these small ones. Yeah. Oh, 
what else? We have another set. Of course we do. We have um, field notes. Oh, we have a big 785. Will this fit here? Hmm. Well, the 7, 8 will fit. Not the 5. Which color are we using? Aged mahogany? Aged mahogany. Seven, eight. I can fit in a smaller one underneath. Yes. Not going to do number. Just a four, eight, nine, nine. I don't know. It's on its head now. Yes, it fits. It fits. I need to find a zero. Do we have a zero anywhere? We have a one, one, two, zero. Uh, aged mahogany, I think. Just gonna do this with your fingers, yes, with my fingers. With my fingers, why not? And it worked. It worked. I want to have a bigger number here. Which one? Which one? Ooh, lots of numbers here. The problem is I don't want them to all go like this and like this. I'm going to do this one by hand. What? By hand? Yes, by hand. That worked. Small numbers. <clears throat> now, I know I have small numbers somewhere. But I can also do sort of partial numbers, right? Yeah. Well, a three. <laughs> that didn't work. No. Oh, I have a seven ten. What color? H mahogany. I think I have better luck just putting it on a block. Love, yes. Then one more here. And the oh oh was there anything that sort of had an O in it? No, no, no. Oh uh oh. There is no O. Well I can find an O in one of my other stamp sets for sure. Oh there's an O here. But that is tricky. That is tricky. How are we going to do this? Um, tape. Yes. You guys told me tape. Put on tape. Okay. The problem is now. Do you want to put tape on <laughs> before you stamp? I don't know, guys. This is This is not for me. You're probably going to tell me in the comments. Put on the tape after you stamped it. Or, you know, before. Oh, my hands are going to be... Ew! Oh, this is so not going to work. I already know. This is not going to work. Or maybe it is. Oh, yes. And then, and then you don't put it on a stamp block. Great job, me. 
that's my husband. <laughs> it's Sunday. It's his day off. So, yes, of course he's at home. Send him away. Well, here goes nothing. And, apparently, a zero. Which is nothing. A zero is nothing. I do like it. I need one more here and one more here. I knew I had some numbers uh, somewhere from my uh, bullet journaling days. <laughs> so I have this sort of very uh, cheap stamp set that I only use the numbers of, of course. Yes, I bought this at Action like years ago. For sure going to have a seven on here. Um, I don't think these will even work with a block. No, they don't. What's this? Go away. I'm just going to try them out. <laughs> Let's see. Let's put a seven here. Sort of do. But I told you, they, these are rubbish. These are absolute rubbish. <clears throat> but I just want some small numbers. There we go. And a five. Oh, does look nice. Let's have a three in a different color. Um, against my better judgments, I'm using this. Let's see. Oh yeah, it does stamp. Don't press too hard, love. Yes, or press a little bit harder. <laughs> Why? Why? We were going so well. I can. I really cannot put anything over it, no. Because if I do it again, it's going to be ruined. So, yes. Well, here's three for you. Can we fit something else in? I don't think so. I don't think so. The last one. The last one completely ruined it. See? Hmm. Sad face, sad face. Shall I try? Shall I try? Oh, no, it's not. It's, if it was a clear stamp, I would have tried. But I'm not going to. Well, guys. Yes, I'm going to ink all around it. Numbers. Numbers. Let's do Norway. For Norway, guys, I sort of try to measure, <laughs> draw a sort of cross of the flag of no i don't it's not a, i didn't do a very good job but that's okay because it's just sort of an outline so this is going to be red this is going to be blue and in between it's going to be white i'm trying to trying to yes if it doesn't work i'm going to do something else uh norway i want some lovely blue ones and i want some lovely red ones now i am going to cut these up because they won't all fit um, I have a couple of these, so blue. Mm, what else? Oh, this is already Denmark. Yes, uh, that's a lovely blue one. I only have one, but that's that's okay. That's okay, guys. And one of these blue. Now for red, oh, that says Norge. Which is probably Norway. Yes. Let's have one of these. One of these. Not two of these. Oh, I need I need lots of reds. And this is also Norway. No, this was Denmark. A couple of these. Do I still is this still Norway? It's still Norway. Look at that lovely lady. I'm gonna have both of them on there. And another Norge. This is Finland. Okay, now hopefully I have enough. Oh, and I also have this. From my own collection. From somewhere else. Yeah. Now, these are all going to be sort of um, cut up. But that's okay. Um, I think I'm going to try to do this with um, my ruler. I try. I, I want to make sort of a collage. That is too small, love. Mm. 
You ruined a whole poster stamp for this. Okay. Here. And. I'm using the lines. Why? Why? <laughs> okay, have this on here, this on here, this goes here. Press really, really hard. Yes, and then you rip. Does that work? It does. Yes. Yes. I am going to have this gentleman on here for sure. Let's see. I really wanted it to say Norway, but you know. Yes. Another blue one. Have this piece off. I'm taking out scissors, guys. This is not working for me. I'm just taking out scissors. Let's see. On it here. Here goes nothing. Yay! Fits. There we go. Sorry, I'm concentrating. I'm really trying to see if I can cut these to size. Yes. Oh, that's a big one that says Norge. Norge. I actually have relatives in Norway. Never been. Well, not really my relatives. My in-laws. In-laws in Norway. So it is on my list to, to visit one one day. One day I'm going to visit it. Here, here, here. This also says Norge. I'm going to put this there. Will this fit? Did I take off the right piece? Of course you did not. trying to eyeball it guys okay i think these are all the blue pieces let's see if we can stick them on i'm just using glue stick not inking or anything no 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 in my mind this was way easier i was like well i'm gonna you know put some poster stamps on yes that will work well if you have a larger piece to work with and I don't. I do not have a larger piece to work with. But it's working so far. Yes. Norge. This one's gonna go here. Does this still fit? Yes. Is this going to go over here? Yes, it's a little bit wide 
need to make it smaller. Yeah. Great idea. Make a flag with the pose stamps. Yes. <laughs> well, I think it's going to look lovely once it's finished. Right? That's too big. Are we sure we can fit this one on here? Well, I'm just going to. I'm just going to. It'll be fine. Doesn't need to be perfect, love. Well, it does look nice. What am I going to do with the uh, with the N? Yes, I'm going to stamp it on something else and then put it on somewhere. Let's do red. Now, the pieces for red are way bigger. So, I'm just going to put this thing on here. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yes. Just do it, love. Big sailboat. Yeah. And then uh, this lovely gentleman, I'm going to cut the bottom part off. Yes. Are you going to overlap Norga so that it says Orga? No. Okie dokie. Then we have this lady that I'm going to have on here like so. Maybe over here? No, that's the same. Over here. Yes, so what else do I have in red? I think I need more red. This gentleman. Oh, that's a perfect fit. I am going to take off this, guys, because... I want this to have a cleaner edge. Yes. Do we have more red? Well, that's a pretty one. Yes, let's do this one. I do want to have Norga on here, so I'm gonna cut there and here. Perfect fit. This one and something in between. Or maybe. That's Finland. That is not Norway. No. Well, well it'll have to do with these two. Okay. I'm going to do this and this. Is this going to be on here? Yes. And then... Yeah, I'm going to have this underneath. I'm just, they can overlap, guys. That's no problem. Well... They can, but it's too too small. So I need to do this. Yes. And yes. Mm. 
Yes. Okay, I'm going to trim all around it. Um, Repunch the, the holes and also round the corners. And then we need to put on the big N. I think I'm just going to stamp the N over here in black. I think that'll work. We don't really need to have a label on. I'm just going to stamp it there. Yes. Oh yes, that worked. Oh, I do love the end result. I do love the end result. Yes. Um, let's do some inking. Going to do black soot on the edges. Just to make it stand out a little bit more. Oh yeah. Well, I did a lot of... Um, in the Rolodex alphabet, I did a lot of countries, yeah? I think this might be my favorite. I think it is. I think it is. Oh, wow. Yes, I love it. I love it. Um, let's see the end result, because I also have the numbers one. Did I put the end upside down? I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Might be, might be. Let's do numbers first. Yes, the numbers one with all the lovely numbers. Yes, that's too, but that's too bad. But you know, you know, just overlook it. I did some uh, inking all around the edges. I do like the end result. I love these colors. And then Norway. Yes, I really like it. I really like it. It's cool, right? Or I think it is. I think it is. Okay, guys. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely, lovely Sunday. Yes, I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. No clue what. Let's find out. Until then. Bye, guys.